the seven game series, what would happen between Houston and Golden State right now? If I have to make that decision right now. You do. Based on what I'm seeing, the Houston Rockets would lose in seven games because they would have to go back to the Oracle for game seven and they would get closed out. Outside of that, I think it would be nip and tuck back and forth because let me tell you something, Max Kellerman. Listen, I'm a James Harden fan and unapologetically so. When I think about the heir apparent to Kobe Bryant, this is that dude. This brother is a superstar. He's just unstoppable. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, he's averaging 31 and 9. He's averaging 31 and 9. Now, obviously, when you look at James Harden, I, I still say, I, I, I still believe that there's an investigation that needs to take place based on Game 6 of last year's Western Conference semifinals because some imposter stole James Harden's uniform and, and pretended to be James Harden and just didn't show up scoring 10 points, barely didn't take a shot in the first half. I didn't even know who the hell that was. As far as I'm concerned, that was not James Harden. That was somebody who was like one of those Mission Impossible movies, Max, where somebody, you know how they sit up there and, and put on the mask and making sure, making sure they look like somebody else, but it's not really them? That's what I think happened with James Harden last year in Game 6. That was not James Harden. I'm telling you there needs to be an investigation because all of this stuff that everybody's been talking about, clearly the pressure is mounting on James Harden because he's my leading candidate for league MVP right now. He's number one on the list. He's ahead right now. If I had to vote, he would be my league MVP. This brother is on another level. And all of this stuff that everybody's been talking about, Max, before I let you go, here's the deal. When we look at James Harden in the postseason, Max, I got the numbers right in front of me because you know how I know how you love your numbers, Max. You know how I know you love your numbers. Here's what the, James Harden the did. Oklahoma City. 37, 35, 44, first three games. Then had a mediocre 16 game, 16 points, but they won that game. Then came back and closed them out with 34 in a closeout game. And then he goes up against San Antonio. Games one and two, they split. He only had 21 game, 13 another. But then he had 43, 28, and 32. Now, listen. Obviously, he's not as great as he is during the regular season. But it ain't like the brother just wets the bed and just disappears with the exception of that one game. James Harden is a superstar. I do not believe he can be stopped. And I think against a team like Golden State, there would be up and down games, but I think it would go seven. And I would pick Golden State to win it in seven. That would be my answer. Yeah, same. I mean, Golden State has home court, and Golden State has more great players than the Rockets. And the Rockets, if you recall, before the season, when the Thunder made the trades, I, I was the one out here. We were debating it, Stephen. I was telling you. I'm not sure that Oklahoma City's a bigger threat to Golden State than Houston. And then a couple weeks into the season, when Chris Paul and James Harden started playing together and wouldn't lose, I said at the time, that is the actual threat to Golden State, not Cleveland. I don't know if Golden State's better than that. For the same reasons you like Golden State in a seven-game series, so do I. But we both think it'll be, it'd be a seven-game series and it would come down to home court. And that's with the Warriors, who not long ago were a 73-win team, having added Kevin Durant. The Warriors do have more great players than the Rockets. The Rockets only have two. The Warriors have arguably four. But if you look at the way the Warriors are constructed, they have one guy who can really dribble, penetrate consistently, dish or finish, right? One guy who you want doing that all the time. It's not that KD or Draymond can't do that, but that's not really what you want them doing. Klay Thompson's kind of capable of doing that at a certain level, but you'd love Klay to be that guy instead of a spot-up shooter, right? So they have one guy who can do that. The Rockets have two. The Rock at an elite level. The Rockets have two Steph Currys that way, James Harden and Chris Paul. The question as to whether they could share a backcourt has been answered. Oh, my God, yes. And because there are two of them, they cover all four. Now, not last night, which is why Harden had to go off 60 points in a triple-double, first time in recorded NBA history, because Chris Paul's not there. But when Chris Paul is there, and the reason they're undefeated with the two of them and Clint Capella is because with those two guys, you have all 48 minutes of elite Point guard, penetration, distribution, and shooting. Elite. All 48 minutes covered. And when they're together in the same backcourt, it is just impossible. More great players, it favors the Warriors. But the way Daryl Morey and Mike D'Antoni have designed this team in offense, and even defense at this point, the Rockets, 
that is, like, I'll, I'll take the Warriors in seven, but I'll keep my money in my pocket. I'm not betting that series. 